Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Gamer Hippie, and today we're going to be talking about add-ons that you can use to help your playing experience and also for you to level up quicker in everything that you're doing, whether it's your level, your champion points, or uh, your crafting, and also which add-ons can help you to make money in the world of Tamriel for the Elder Scrolls Online. So uh, let's get started. The very first thing you need to know is it will help you to organize all of your add-ons. I personally use Minion. Minion is a third-party application where you can select your game. Uh, they also they do Elder Scrolls Online, they do World of Warcraft, there's several games that you can choose um, that allow add-ons and Minion is actually an add-on manager. So what I have here, and what you can actually see, is I have the action duration reminder. I'll just go down what each one does. Um, the action duration reminder lets you know the countdown of your skills. Um, because a lot of these skills are not just single target attacks and direct attacks, they have effects. So the action duration reminder actually shows you how long the effect lasts, for instance. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take off minion right here so that you can see what I'm doing. If I am to cast, let's see, um, a bubble or this, this is one. You see on the bottom all the effects and how long those effects will last. There's a countdown so that you can use your skills at specific times and not waste your mana or your stamina. So it allows you to see this duration. This is one of the ways that you can keep your DPS, your, your damage per second higher by doing things like that. Um, being able to record when you have skills and how long those skills uh, last. So that's one thing to do. Um, the next thing, and you can go to your settings, it'll be add-ons right here. So action duration reminder. Um, if I'm cooking a large amount of things to sell and trade, I have Cookery Wiz. Cookery Wiz is by Kim Darren. You can see it's out of date. It will always say out of date if um, updates were not done to match whatever the current, um, I would say current update for the game is, you can see this requires additional add-ons. So a lot of them will make sure that you check this if your add-on is not working. You can see I don't have that on right now because I don't have to cook a plethora of things, but you can cook multiple things at the same time now and Cookery Wiz will help you find those recipes. The next thing I have is advanced filters. So advanced filters actually helps me to filter everything inside of my inventory. So it helps me to do inventory control. Um, advanced filters will help me to keep my consumables, my raw materials, and my stolen items in a specific place. It's easier for me to find. Um, AI research grid that you hear allows you to quickly see which traits your characters um, still need for blacksmithing, clothing, woodworking, and jewelry making wherever you are in the world. And it will show you all of the characters and what they're missing. Um, this is helpful to have on, as well as the other add-ons I'm about to show you for research as far as crafting. Now, if doing your arc, as soon as you get to a level where you can do dungeons, Arc Undaunted will let you know every day what your Undaunted daily pledges. The next thing you're going to see is, okay. now for trade, there are three that I go in between depending on um, whether or not updates have been done and sometimes add-ons do not work with the game. That's just, uh, that's just how it goes. Um, but I use ATT, that's the acronym for it, but it's actually Arcadius Trade Tools. This helps me to log any export information, any purchases, any sales, and all of the statistics of my sales. This is really helpful so that you can see exactly how much 
you sold something for and also what someone else is selling something for and it gives you a range so that it's easier for you to know how to price your goods. Bot Scanner is something that I use because I can't stand when people are running around with other people's characters like 15 at them at the time and they're just running around killing things. Um, of course you have people who are paying other people to level their character and they level many characters at the same time so they run bots and they're really irritating um, some bots can sit there and s just run uh, fish auto fishing uh, to where they will sit there and just auto fish and uh, this is how they get items to sell for real world money outside of the game by giving people things that they could just get themselves inside of the game. Uh, if you want to report those and stop scammers and cheaters, this is how I do it. It works really fast, it's really well, and you can just, you know, put your mouse cursor all over, over them and then hit report, and it'll just report them for that. And then uh, Bethesda will investigate that. Bug Eater stops your. Uh, your UI from showing you every time an add-on does not work. It's super helpful because uh, sometimes when bugs come up, you have to close out your game or restart it because it will not let you close the window. So Bug Eater is nice. It still tells you what the issue is in your chat bar, but it does not lock up your screen. Now I'm in Vardenfell. This is Vardenfell. This is Vivek City. And in the Vardenfell, uh, a lot of these add-ons can actually help you with individual DLC completions. One of those things that helps you is called By the Ancestors. I don't have it on, but it will display all of the ancestral tombs on Vardenfell for you to take, um, make copies of so that you can turn it on for that quest line. Um, also, they have the same exact thing for um, being in Elsewhere and elsewhere mural finding all those mural pieces right here and tablet fragments you can see that right here this is the elsewhere mural mender um, they have a lot of those so you keep an eye on those chest master helps you see all the chests uh, I, super helpful because uh, if you are farming for gear that will help you find all the chests then again you know that doesn't stop other people from farming for chests too so first come first serve the Codes Combat Alerts is, is what I like to use for PvE mechanics. Um, letting you know that something is incoming and going to hit you, that a boss has marked you for death, that an AoE attack is coming. These are helpful to help you stay out of stupid. Dodge roll out of the way or um, go ahead and interrupt an attack. Combat Log Statistics um, go along with uh, Combat Metrics. This helps you to track your damage and what your damage over time was, what your healing was during uh, an engagement. That way you can record it and get better at it. And, or you can give your combat statistics to another friend and compare how you can make that better. Combat Metrics also does this. It analyzes your performance in fights. Um, this will also help you um, if you're trying to parse. And parsing is when you sit there and hit a dummy until the dummy dies or for a certain amount of time so that you know what your maximum DPS is for the build, the weapons, and armor that you have. Combat metrics, same thing, right? It analyzes your performance during fights. Uh, craft bag extended actually helps to organize my craft bag and it allows me to disable auto stashing for guild back withdrawals. Um, it also helps me to be able to access my craft bag, whether I'm at the banker or trying to sell something um, at my guild merchant. Destinations helps you to point to points of interest on your map that will help you get XP. So that's helpful. Um, these are all crafting. The Lazy Rit Crafter will help you when you start your crafting experience because it does it for you automatically. You'll see me do it in some of my videos. It's just press a button and as long as you have those mats and as long as you have um, what they need for you to create um, that thing, it'll just automatically create it for you. 
it's beautiful dressing room is one of my favorite and it allows you to switch out your weapons your skills and your armor all at the click of a button so I have F6 F7 and F8 these are the ones that I use the most my um, frost bat, my frost F PvP and healing this is my healing set I have my necro PvP set and then I have my PvE Sork set. So these automatically will list everything that you're using at the time. And as long as you still have it in your inventory, you get a absolute quick load. Now, if you change any of your skills on your bar, it will tell you that it can't fill that spot. So if I don't have Dark Deal anymore, I, I morphed it into something else, this will not be available anymore. So make sure you keep on top of that come down here and you look at the sky shards so sky shards will show you all of the sky shards on your world map on the compass in your delves and your dungeons this will show you when you have already gotten the sky shard and if you have not yet got that sky shard if you don't have it it will show up on the map if you already collected it it will not um, occasionally there's going to be some hiccups where it thinks that you didn't get it and that's usually an add-on conflict with something else because I do have several other um, map it's like Votans it's beautiful because I use it for um, map pins so if you only want to find the sky shards I suggest sky shards by Charlotte Cran and it is currently updated to um, the current build I uh, the curled current DLC the other thing, uh, and that helps me a lot, and it has to do with questing and crafting, is Votans. Anything that says Votan or that is by Votan is very helpful for location. Um, selecting colors for what you see on your map, fixing your map, all locations for quests, all locations for people that are in your group, um, how to track when you fish, where to fish, and how to automatically fillet your fish. Votan makes a lot of great add-ons. I suggest you do that. The last one I'm actually going to cover has to do with um, your inventory. So inventory management is really difficult. Even if you manage everything, there's so much of a need to hold on to things, especially if you're a hoarder like me and a crafter. Um, if you sell a lot of things, if you keep a lot of weapon sets and armor sets because you're not sure what's going to be um, best in slot for whatever build that you want for multiple characters, I sometimes will use my mail, my mailbox as additional space. So each mail actually holds six items, not just gold. So you can also mail six items. Wicked mailbox, this is a really cool thing is if another person has this add-on, like I have this add-on, and if you were to mail me six items and put uh, to at Terluca, and you were to put RTS into the subject bar, when I open my mail, I am not able to actually access that email. Wicked's mailbox will turn around and immediately return it to sender. So RTS, return to sender. Uh, that is a really helpful add-on tool. And uh, I suggest if you have any conflicts with the game or the gameplay and it's frustrating you, it will almost always either be an add-on setting or an add-on conflict. So in that case, you want to do the takeaway method. You want to slowly add your add-ons until you can find which add-on is making that issue for you or you can use the bug eater and it will show up here in your chat bar so that you know exactly which add-on is creating some kind of conflict you can look at it and change the setting um, especially if it's anything to do with your ui it usually is an actual setting you have to go into so i hope that this was helpful for you I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to subscribe, like, and hit that notifications bell so that you know when new videos are coming. Here is Minion again. This is what it looks like. 
um, and you'll be able to choose the game that you want, find the add-ons that you would like, and install them. It also auto-updates it for you. As long as you open it up, you can hit update all, and it will update all of your add-ons uh, if they have been updated by the creators and editors. So thank you so much. And remember to be kind, be love, be brave for you. And I will see you guys again on my next live stream at Lucas Playgrounds on Twitch and here on The Gamer Hippie. Bye!